have some very exciting news. Cody, we have another egg. Cody, we have another egg. Summer wanted a very, very, very expensive door, of course. And I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna build that. So I recommend it. Like I said, it was only 10 bucks. Anyway, let's drill some holes. Thought we were gonna be able to do this all in one day. Ha. <laughs> ha. Uh, I thought it was called a hootus. A hootus? Are you recording? <laughs> Oh yeah, of course. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Cody has been working on mudding and taping the rest of the kitchen over the past few days mostly just focusing on the pantry because we are going to be custom building some shelving for the pantry. And the reason that we're doing that is because it's slightly a bit cheaper and we want to be able to show y'all an affordable way to get some really nice custom built shelves in there. So we're going to be focusing on that, but I have some very exciting news. Last night I was FaceTiming my mom and I looked down because I almost stepped on it, but we have our first egg. I was FaceTiming my mom, showing her the new pinwheel that we got the girls, and I looked down. There's an egg. We have an egg. What the heck? Who did this? Which one of you did this? Is this yours? Who do you belong to? What? Huh? And it's in the run. Not the coop, like I'm so confused. So now what I do? <laughs> this is easily like a $300 egg right here. <laughs> we were not expecting the girls to lay anytime soon. I, we were thinking maybe like middle of July, end of July, but we have our very first egg. Because of that, I want to make the space a little bit more comfortable and promote just a really healthy space for them to be able to go and want to lay eggs. I bought a few things for like some free choice calcium, some ceramic eggs so that way they know where to nest, and then a few nesting pads. Let's go fix up the girls' coop and make it just a really nice, comfortable home for them, and then we'll tackle this kitchen. First things first, let's change out this bedding because. <sighs> All right, that is a lot better. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor, Adlon. These are the Adlon solar string lights. And yes, that is correct, they are solar. So while you can charge them with USB, they do have solar panels, which I love because that means that they are super low maintenance. We added these string lights to our sitting gazebo a while back ago, and we've really been enjoying them, so I figured we would also add them to the chicken coop and spice up the girl's house just a little bit. What's really cool is they come with a remote, so you have total control over the brightness and how long you want them on. And you can even set a timer if you want. Outdoor string lights that we've tried in the past have been very thin versus these are very thick and seem like high quality material. And they're waterproof, so I'm hoping that they last a really long time. But of course, we will definitely make sure to keep you guys updated. I've been looking for a product like this for quite a while, mostly because we live out here in the woods. We don't really have any lights from the city or any street lights, so it can get pretty dark, and I would love to be able to light up a few of our spaces that we go to at night. But I've always been super hesitant and discouraged at the price point. However, these Adelon solar lights are really affordable in my opinion. 
To find out more information or to get your very own, make sure you check out our description. And if you end up purchasing these lights, please send me pictures of your outdoor entertainment spaces. I want to see what you guys come up with. I love hearing from y'all. Thank you again, Adelon, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to it. I ended up going with coffee grounds for their bedding before we had used corn cobs. And I really prefer coffee grounds, but our local feed store has been out of them for quite a while. So as soon as I saw that they had some, I snagged it up and I went ahead and put that down in their coop. Now I'm gonna be adding paint trays to their actual nesting boxes. We only have two, they have three boxes, but that's okay. Our friend Lydia over at Cajun Country Living, I'll tag them below, gave us this suggestion. I think it's a great idea for easy cleanup. So I'm gonna add these two paint trays right inside their nesting boxes. We also got suggestions on adding nesting pads, so I'm gonna put some of those in there as well. Someone else suggested to add some ceramic nest eggs to kind of help them, I don't know, get some inspiration or, or give them kind of an example on where they should be laying. So I'm gonna add a ceramic egg to these nesting boxes. I'm still gonna be painting their roof and I haven't decided what kind of latch I want on their nesting box yet. So since they're not producing every single day, this is still very new, they're still very young. We're just gonna go ahead and pop a screw back in here and then whenever I decide what I actually want, we'll come back and add that. Into the basket you go. I'm so proud of you girls. Lay in your first eggs. Don't worry girls, I'm coming with the water. Give me a second. Now that they are producing eggs, I'm gonna go ahead and offer them some free choice calcium, which is just some oyster shells. Just in case they feel like they want it, it's there for them to have. All right, girls, I hope you enjoy your clean house.
First part of our pantry build is going to be building a custom door. Summer wanted a very, very, very expensive door, of course, and I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to build that. So we went by the restore and found this window and picked up some wood and we're going to make a door out of it. So this is going to be a super cheap project. We're just using some cheap 2x6s for the framing and then this $10 window that we're going to be using for the glass portion. Let's start taking this thing apart. That was easy. <laughs> oh, man. The issue is, is that he keeps hammering the crap out of it and it's obviously a window, so we have to, hold on babe. We have to stabilize it as best we can to make sure, obviously, that he doesn't crack it. But there's a lot of sharpness going on on this side, so I'm trying to be very careful. We got the glass out and taken apart. It still has some glue around the edges, so we'll have to clean that up a little bit. But for now, we just laid it out on the wood and set the distance of how wide it's gonna be. And I think we're ready to go start cutting. Cutting these to 80 inches, which is just standard door height. So I said 80, but I'm actually cutting these at like 80 and a quarter, and then I'm flipping them over and trimming the other end because the factory cut end is always super splintered and not always straight. Running our 2x6s through the table saw, that way we can get rid of this curved edge and give us a nice straight edge on each side. I'm basically just cutting all the wood to make the door itself right now. So next we're going to be cutting the cross pieces. It's going to be a 24 inch door. Our two side pieces are 4 inches wide, so we're going to be making our center pieces 16 inches wide. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Okay. 
All right, let's lay it out and see what it looks like. Obviously the glass isn't just going to be sitting on top of the wood like this. So we're going to be using a slot cutter bit with our router to cut channels inside the wood for the window to be able to sit inside. Now we have a nice big slot in the wood so the window can sit right inside of it. I have my window in place where it's gonna go. I'm gonna mark all the way around it so that way I know where to cut and then we're gonna start trimming our outside board. So that way we can prepare it for putting the slots in and installing the window. So far we cut grooves and all of the wood so that way the glass has a channel to be able to sit in as well as we cut grooves at the bottom of the door that way we can put paneling in there to finish out the bottom. And then for attaching the middles to the sides we drill holes and then put these little dowels in with some wood glue and then, here grab the camera, come here. And then we added some pocket screws on each side to secure it all together. Next we need to finish out the other side of the door, but to do that, first we have to start by putting the rest of the dowels in. So I'm going to put a little bit of wood glue in each hole, but not too much because the dowel is going to fill up the space, so it's going to end up pushing the glue out the top anyway. So then we just put the dowel in, and we're going to lightly tap it in there. If you're wondering why I'm using it sideways, it's because this is like a textured hammer on the end, so I don't want to ruin the dowels. We got to finish out this other side, but 
I'm actually gonna need your help for this, babe, so you wanna set up the tripod and here? Yes. It's called a joint mate. It's for doing this, putting dowel pins in. It's got three different sizes. It's super easy to line it up for all different kinds of joints. So if you do any kind of woodworking or anything like that, or just need to fix some stuff, it works pretty good. I highly recommend it. Like I said, it was only 10 bucks. So anyway, let's drill some holes. Oh, I forgot I set it up for this side already. So to line it up, we just place it over our dowels here. And then it has a little adjustable fence on the bottom, so you just get that nice and tight to the wood. And then it's got these little channels right here to line up with your dowels. So you line that up with the fence, and then it'll center it perfectly. Last thing we gotta do for this side of the door is just cut our channel for our paneling to be able to sit in. twice as long whenever you make it by hand. So everything takes four times as long. <laughs> it's like 12.20, we're exhausted and the glue has to sit before we can put it in the frame. But I guess we haven't really talked about that. He's about to glue these two <laughs> pieces of wood together. I'll, we'll get to that. And it has to sit, so I think we're probably just gonna like do a couple more things and then call it and finish it up in the morning because yeah, I still need to make the trim to go around it, and I think we're going to need to use the table saw for that, and it's pitch black outside, so... And I'm just, tired. Yeah. At, at a certain point, a girl gets a little grumpy. <laughs> she wants some sleep. Alright, I guess let's th throw some glue on this, and then we'll get ready for bed. Do you want to tell them what it is? I thought I already did. It's our bottom panel. Oh. Well... There you go. <laughs> so we had some leftover siding that we used for the bottom of the girl's uh, chicken coop. That way we can enclose the bottom of the chicken coop, have storage for their food and stuff like that. So, so this was some of the paneling that was left over and we had just enough to be able to make a bottom panel for the door luckily. And actually, I think it turned out pretty good. You ready to glue it? Yep, let's glue it.
Better idea. <laughs> uh, could you lift for me? Purple. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry, that thing's huge. Huge. Huge, baby. You know you're tired? I'm very tired. Mm, I had no idea. You had no idea, idea, baby. Babe, will you hold it for a sec, please? No, obviously not. Okay, I'm walking away. Contraption thingy. I thought it was called a hootus. A hootus? Is this a hootus? I, I consider it a hootus. 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 Also, we opted to get the gigantic clamps because it was only a dollar more than the small clamps. I don't know why we would ever need a clamp <laughs> this large. Hey, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. All right, let's go with that. What in the world, babe? I need more clamps. Oh. <laughs> Are you recording? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. I figured you may want that. No. It shows how tired you are. I'm very tired. Okay, before I go to bed, I did want to show y'all what we bought today. So, I wanted to get some hardware for the door that gave it just a little bit more character. So, Cody and I were on a hunt and we could not find anything until right before we left, we hit the jackpot. So, let me show you. We found a lock set with these, these face plates, so, so cute. I love them, and then I really, really wanted this style doorknob, and I'm so happy that we were able to find one. So I think it's gonna give the door a lot of character. I'm really happy with it. Can we go to bed now? Yeah, we can go to bed. Oh.